and we are closely watching the tropics because the system down in the kind of extreme Western Caribbean almost to the Gulf of Mexico is definitely looking better organized and most of the computer models are indicating that this is going to strengthen as it eventually gets into the Gulf, a depression or possibly a tropical storm. The big question after that is where is it going to go? If we get some more daylight satellite imagery here, you'll really be able to see kind of the circulation down toward the surface and the hurricane hunters will be flying out into the storm a little bit later in the day. Now this is two of the computer models. This is the European. What this model does is kind of take this storm more toward the west northwest, keeping it down to our south and more toward Texas. But on this track, we would get in on quite a bit of rainfall. So this is more of a wet model for us. Tuesday and going into Wednesday if it follows this path staying down to our south. Another computer model, the GFS, takes the storm, and this is the one I was showing you a little bit more yesterday, almost due north and more toward the Florida Panhandle. If this is the case, Tuesday and on into Wednesday, we're on the dry side and all the rainfall stays well to our east. So again, the big question is the storm likely will stay weak. The question, though, is where is it going to go? And that totally will de uh, depending on where it goes, will determine our forecast by the early to middle part of the week. On this track, we stay dry. If it stays down to our south, we could see quite a bit of rainfall come Tuesday and on into Wednesday. Computer models and the uh, the, the federal forecasters, the Hurricane Center and National Weather Service indicating they're thinking more of that track kind of taking it toward the west, but I don't know. We've got this strong shear and dry air in the central Gulf of Mexico. This is why the storm is not going to be rapid to intensify at all and will likely make landfall as a very weak system. But we have this diving trough and perhaps the thinking is that this trough is not going to deepen uh, far enough south or the storm is not going to move far enough north that it's really going to influence drawing the storm northward. That's what I was talking about yesterday on our GFS. Here comes this upper trough and normally this weakness in the atmosphere would draw anything in the tropics northward towards that feature. But it doesn't look like that is going to happen, at least based on the forecast from the Hurricane Center. And again, there isn't anything yet developed, which makes forecasting these systems very, very difficult.